in Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. You know, during the coronavirus pandemic, we all need to be protected by masks. And N95 masks need to be protected, too, once they're used. Well, some Michigan researchers have come to the rescue. In the COVID-19 era, N95 masks are like gold. To keep supplies sufficient, hospitals reuse these jewels of the PPE world. So that means they need to be decontaminated. Medical facilities use ovens to do so, almost like the ones in your kitchen. It does heat up things inside, just like a, uh, a kitchen oven, but it's much more highly regulated and it's much more precise. Not only do you care about the temperature, you care about the humidity. And I suppose it's a little bit like weather. And like weather forecasting, successfully decontaminating an N95 mask must occur 100% of the time. It's a matter of life or death. When a hospital is using, for instance, an oven to decontaminate masks for reuse, how do we make sure that it was properly decontaminated? This Michigan scientist and his team may have found the answer. With a National Science Foundation grant from the COVID Rapid Grant Program, they are inventing sensors that individually can be paired with each mask in an oven to let medical workers know when the decontamination process is complete. The sensor is akin to knowing when the main course of your Thanksgiving dinner is ready. So you can think of our work on the sensing technology for decontamination as a turkey pop-up indicator to know when is the decontamination process done to meet the safety and efficacy expectations um, for the healthcare professionals. We're using these sensors to make sure that we stay in the Goldilocks zone uh, such that the, the mask can be not only reused uh, safely, um, but also you know, verify that we haven't made a mistake. Several sensors can be used at one time. Conveniently, they are tiny and wireless. And these wires are kind of cumbersome, and we know that every hospital is building their own system a little bit differently. So we wanted to provide them with a system that was essentially sprinkled in your oven, no wires necessary, um, to make it really easy to. This will go a long way for hospitals in rural communities and in areas where resources are routinely stretched thin. They have a prototype and their work is being reviewed by their peers. Once complete, the team, which includes students, will share their information with hospitals for free. Our reward system is based upon informing and advancing society, um, giving information. They can know that the scientists have finished the research and development, and now all they have to do is figure out their budgets uh, instead of just doing sort of, hey, I wonder if this will work. Um, we're gonna figure out the, hey, will this work uh, for them? You know, it's, it's one of the best experiences I've had. The students are very energized. They feel like they're making a difference in their communities. It's absolutely amazing. That was Dr. Kevin Fu you were hearing from from the University of Michigan. He's the team leader with the research team that is doing phenomenal work, a group of students and professionals developing this technology while working through the COVID-19 era just like we are. Families to take care of, some of them international students, not knowing if they can come back to the United States or when. Also, he also told me that some of them even uh, uh, came down with the coronavirus while they were working. Fortunately, they survived, and all of them, through it all, working hard to create technology to help others. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you. Yeah, it's important to keep yourself safe, and then it's also great for the environment that you can, you know, reuse them and then, you know, keep yourself safe with the sensors and all that technology. Mm -hmm. It's so cool that it's just happening here. It's yeah. Great. Yeah. And again, that sensor technology, making sure that those masks can be reused, it's really a help to hospitals and medical care workers everywhere, not just here in Southeast Michigan, but potentially all over the world. Absolutely. Very needed. All right. Thanks, Andrew.